हेलो फ्रेंड्स मैं सिर्फ प्रीति गज्जर लेक्चर इन कंप्यूटर डिपार्टमेंट टुडे मै सब्जेक्ट इज एडवांस डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एंड द यूनिट इज ट्रांजेक्शन प्रोसेसिंग विथ अ टॉपिक नेम ट्रांजेक्शन प्रॉपर्टीज एंड कॉन्करेंसी कंट्रोल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑब्जेक्टिव्स आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू लर्न अबाउट ट्रांजेक्शन प्रॉपर्टीज कॉन्करेंसी कंट्रोल and the problems of concurrency control first of all transaction properties it is also known as acid properties with the first letter names of this four different properties so to make sure that a transaction remains in a consistent state it must have following four properties atomicity consistency isolation and durability Let's see in detail one by one four properties of a transaction, and the first one is atomicity. This property required requires that all operation associated with the transaction are executed as a whole or as none. This means the transaction must be completely successful or completely fail without doing anything. In other words, a transaction must be completed either hundred percent or zero percent, but not in between. That means if we are going to transfer some amount from one account to another, then must be completely transferred from one one account to another, or it must not. That means if you have a five thousand in your account and you are going to Uh, withdraw one thousand from your account, then your resultant amount would be four thousand in your account, right? So, whenever you are going to perform this uh, transaction, then uh, if your transaction is uh, in a state where no any errors occur or no any problems generated, and you are going to withdrawing your amount. then the result is 4000 and your transaction is successful so it is known as a 100% or with a atomicity property but if any error generates or any situation occurs that you cannot withdraw your amount and you are applying to withdraw the amount to the bank but due to the reason bank cannot withdraw that amount so your account having a ultimate value of balance as a 5000 it uh, is not possible that it shows you the 4000 value right so either it is in a situation if any problem occurs then the resultant uh, result is in a state of 0% whatever the effect is uh, happened we have to roll back or we have to cancel that effect to the database and that's why the database is in a previous consistent state so uh, the effect is a 0% so atomicity must be either 100% or 0% consistency the second property is so this property requires that a database instance should be in a consistent state a transaction must transform the database from one consistent state to another consistent state as i told you in atomicity that it must be 100% or 0% so if it is in 100% then the transaction transaction is uh, or uh, due to the transaction the database is in a new consistent state right and if it, its effect is 0% then the transaction due to the transaction the database uh, effect is in a previous consistent state so database is ultimately going to in a uh, either or consistent state situations so it maintains the consistency property if a transaction commits a new change is must be reflected in a database else if a transaction fails transaction must be returned to the prior consistent state third is the isolation property this property requires that all transaction uh, running concurrently are isolated from each other this means all transactions must executed independently as if they are the only transaction currently executing 
updates on data made by one transaction cannot be seen by other transactions until their transaction commits so whenever there are multiple transaction it creates a problem of accessing the values in a different transaction so it must not happen in this situation and uh, that's uh, this way the isolation property is maintained durability is the fourth property this property requires the changes made by a committed transaction are permanent this means once a transaction is committed changes made by that transaction cannot lost even if the system fails the transaction recovery subsystem of the database management system is responsible to ensure this property of a transaction so durability means whenever we are going to uh, purchase any product then also we check the durability of that product how it goes to work uh, or how it goes to work uh, in a long lasting way so uh, in uh, our the concept of database management system whenever the transaction uh, commits then that uh, effects are going to permanent so this is the concept of durability now the next is a concurrency control concept so the technique used to protect the data when user users are accessing it concurrently is called concurrency control so whenever one, more than one users are going to access the same values then we have to protect that data because it is going to change any time in a database so whenever it going to change the user needs to take the value according to that change so the primary goal of concurrency control is to ensure the atomicity of a transaction in a multi user database environment so there are basic problems we can say in a concurrency control so how the problems are created when the more than one users are going to work so the main three problems of concurrency control are given below and the first one is lost update problem second is the dirty read problem or it is also known as uncommitted dependency problem and third one is the inconsistent retrievals problem one by one in detail the first is the lost update problem this problem indicates that if two transactions t1 and t2 both read same data and then update it then the effect of the first update will be overwritten by the second update but naturally both the transaction are accessing the same value and they are updating the values so when one transaction is going to update and whenever the second transaction is going to change the value then the value of the first transaction is going to overwrite it or is not as a long lasting value so here it is the example of lost update uh, problem you can see here in a figure that uh, transaction a and transaction b two different transaction are going to perform some operations uh, with the timeline of t0 to up to t5 Uh, you can see here that uh, at the time t1 transaction a read the value of x transaction b read the value of x at the time t2 at the time t3 transaction a is going to change the value of x using update x at the time t4 transaction b is also going to change the value of x so now you can see here both the transaction are performing the same uh, operations with the different values of x suppose we are assuming the value of x is a 5 for transaction a and uh, transaction b also read the value of x as a 5 uh, right so at the time t1 and t2 both the transaction are going to read the value of x as a 5 now transaction e is going to change the value of x from 5 to 6 so at the time t3 transaction uh, a 
perform the operation update x with the value 6 so for transaction a the value of x is going to change from 5 to 6 now transaction b also read the value of x as a 5 and it is also going to change the value of x from suppose 5 to 7 so at the time t4 uh, it, transaction b also performed the update operation from 5 to 7 for the value of x so now the value of x is overwritten uh, after t3 and uh, during the t4 so the value whatever the uh, whatever the change is going for uh, x during time t3 is not going to exist after t4 so transaction a change the value of uh, x from 5 to 6 and transaction e b is now going to change the value of uh, x as from 5 to 7 so the last update uh, is update uh, x of uh, transaction b so whatever the update operation is performing at last the value of that update operation is going to store in the database so the pre value of previous update is lost due to the ne next update so that's why this problem is known as the lost update problem so here the lost update of value 6 is uh, going to happen in transaction a so this is the lost update problem we cannot save that value 6 for the x previously we have a value 5 in x and now latest value is 7 in x so the lost of value uh, 6 for uh, x is happened here next is the dirty or we can say uncommitted dependency problem here the dirty read problem arises when one transaction updates item and then fails due to some reason meanwhile this updated item is retrieved by another transaction before it is changed back to the original value so this problem is also referred as uncommitted dependency problem here both the transaction are going to change the value but the second transaction is going to uh, change the uncommitted value and that's why it creates a problem let's see again with the example so let's see the example of dirty read problem here there are two transactions transaction a and transaction b with the timeline t0 to t4 transaction b is going to change the value of x at the time t1 at the time t2 transaction a is reading the value of x now at the time t3 due to some problems transaction b is a rollback the uh, task so what happens here that transaction uh, b is going to update the value of x like maybe it uh, value of x is a 5 and now in update operation it set the value of x is a 6 so transaction a is reading the value and it reads the value 6 so for at the time t2 for transaction a the value of x is a 6 but after some time some problems or some error occurs and transaction b is decided to roll back that transaction and at the time t3 it roll backs that uh, update operation so uh, as it updates the database is in a new uh, previous consistent state so the value of x is now 5 again because they are rollbacking the value so now for transaction b again x is a 5 not the 6 but transaction a read the value which is updated and it is a 6 so now there is a no uh, now there is a no state of a value 6 in a database and still transaction a is working with that value 6 so here it is known as a dirty read problem that means whatever the value read by transaction a is not the correct one and that's why it is a dirty read problem next and the last uh, concurrency control problem is the inconsistent retrieval problem the inconsistent retrieval problem arises when one transaction retrieves the data to use in some operation but 
before it can use this data other transaction updates the data and commits let's see with the example how it happens so here is the example of inconsistent retrieval problem here we have two different transaction are going to perform two different tasks with the three accounts account 1 2 and 3 having value 200 250 and 150 accordingly so transaction a is going to sum this uh, uh, balance of three accounts and transaction b is going to transfer the value of 50 from account 3 to account uh, 1 so it uh, behaves like uh, withdrawing the 50 rupees from account 3 and in its balance is now 100 and it adds the 50 in account 1 so the balance of account 1 is 250 so these two different uh, uh, transaction are going to perform with different timeline timeline is t0 to t8 at the time t0 both uh, transaction are in ideal position at the time t1 transaction edit the balance of account a1 it is a 200 so we are going to take uh, one variable as a sum and storing and adding these values in that sum variable so sum having a 200 now at the time t2 it reads the value of account 2 account 2 having a value 250 so it adds uh, uh, sum plus 250 our sum has a 200 so 200 plus 250 it gives 450 so now the sum having a value 450 after these uh, two uh, uh, timeline at the time t3 time, uh, uh, transaction b comes in the picture and it reads the value of account 3 it updates the balance of account 3 uh, with uh, withdrawing 50 rupees so 150 minus 50 gives 100 so account 3 having a value 100 now at the time t5 it reads the value of account a1 and at the time t6 it updates the balance of account a1 with adding this 50 in 200 and it gives the 250 at the time t1 sorry at the time t7 it uh, commits this transaction and all the changes are done permanently in the database and the task of the transaction B is completed so again transaction A comes in the picture and at the time T8 uh, it reads the balance of account A3 because it's already read the value of account 1 and 2 and adding that value whatever the remaining thing is to reading the value of uh, account 3 and adding that value in that previous summation so it read the balance of account A3 and uh, add that value in a, our previous sum and previous sum is 450 and the uh, value which it gets at the time T8 of account 3 is 100 because 50 rupees is already uh, deducted in transaction B and uh, that changes uh, are permanently stored in the database so uh, for transaction A the value of account 3 is 100 not the 150 and that's why it add the 100 in uh, 450 and the total answer is 550 uh, instead of that it uh, it should be uh, 600 right uh, we are adding only 100 so answer is 550 but we according to the operation of transaction A we are going to add 200 plus 250 plus 150 so the answer uh, should be 100 instead of 100 we get 550 because of the transaction B and this this creates the problem and it gives the wrong value to transaction A so it is known as an inconsistent retrieval problem whatever the value retrieved by the transaction A for account 3 is not the correct value and that's why it creates the problem so this is the concept of inconsistent retrieval problem of the concurrency control thank you